Eric Ten Hag has gone ahead obviously clash with Alejandro Ganacho after that 2-2 draw at the stadium of the Vitality Stadium where we were twice behind and Bruno Fernandes pulled one back, all two back on two on all the occasions. Welcome to the United Matters channel. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash like button, comment and share for you watching us for the very first time. Endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss that on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rock and David is my name and hope you guys are really having fun wherever you are. It's not good uh, at the club of Man United as Eric Ten Hag is really looking like he's near ring sucking himself but all i know they cannot suck him now if you have to suck him and obviously part ways they'll part with him ways after the end of the season because they cannot really get in a caretaker manager right now because they know we are having an fa cup final sorry semi-final over the weekend they need to obviously get in him to do the needful let's see close to 200 likes much on this video continue to subscribe and let's get in the christians will come back from your prayer places and we thank you we thank you for everything you're gonna hit to do and may the living god uh bless you abundantly and we bring out it to the muslims that barak laufikum and may the living allah bless you abundantly now eric ten Hag, after he took off ganacho he said the following that i think we had to repair over the right side we didn't play well the spaces were there right in position we had to bring a sub there in position we had to bring a sub there ganacho was <coughs> ganacho was during ganacho was during the week not training only yesterday we thought bring some new energy and bring some more quality in the sense of cooperation and togetherness on the right hand side by the way for me I 100% went ahead to really give manager a go on retaking off Ganacho because I gave you my reasons. And my reasons were simple. One, Ganacho was the reason as to why I went ahead to lose two, to concede two goals. And I tell you that. He was the reason as to why we went ahead to concede two goals. And for everyone who really doubts it, go ahead and really see how we went ahead to concede. The first one, he loses possession. Then secondly, he fails to obviously <coughs> uh, gate uh dalo out of the one v one situation in that game of football and went ahead to obviously lose sorry and went ahead to concede easily twice so that is one of those moments you'll ever look out and really understand why the manager really took him off and amid this everything that is being said for me he deserves to be taken off he deserves to be taken off because the energy was not giving into that game of football and he looked like even when he went ahead obviously create that first goal the cross was not really perfect what was perfect was simple what was perfect he was only and only the way he went ahead obviously that ball but the rest was really imperfect and i tell you he has a lot obviously coming through to obviously answer very many questions have gone ahead to be put onto that to the players to the manager but i think people have to make it clear and really get to know that Ganacho is really one of those people that are really to blame. And after all that was said by the manager of Manchester United, guess what happened? Ganacho went ahead to say the following, right? Uh, he put the following onto his Instagram. All right. He first put this with an emoji. Look at that emoji down there. You see that emoji? He was like, I'm not going to say anything. Then later, he went ahead to delete it and put up, um, and put up, and put up this emoji. So I tell you, I look at Ganacho and I ask myself, he's human. You all understand that he's human. But sometimes you need to really get to know and really respect some people, like the manager who goes by himself, Eric Ten Hag, who went ahead to obviously put in a shift to obviously get into the team. Ganacho, however good he is, he needed Eric Ten Hag to get him in the team. Because Oli Gunnar Sosha, who was there, never got him in the team. Ralph Rangnick, who was really good at really getting in young stars, never got him in the team, although he got in the likes of Shola Shoritire and very many others. So, who deserves the credit? Ganacho, he's like, sorry, Ten Hag is like a father of Ganacho in football. Like how Salix Vargas not here to introduce Ronaldo into this beautiful game of football. So, if Ganacho came out and really put out such, I think 
he got to know that he had gone ahead to do something bad because he was responding to the manager and what he did again was to go ahead and really like the posts of Alhan of uh, Mark Goldbridge who runs the United Matters channel and it was like how do you come out and really use the guy as the scapegoat it said he went ahead to use Ganache as the scapegoat by taking him off and I tell you it's really not um, it's really not uh, a reason to give and some people are just here to obviously put in a very huge shift and really blame to the manager on taking off Ganache but I tell you ask yourself how many times did he give the ball away you know I understand Rashford was not meant to start but this is a moment that you will ever want out to obviously come in through and really see yourself really getting into the better positions of the game and not lose the ball but if you are playing ugly then how do you expect us to obviously come into play and really protect you he was not really doing well and are people going ahead to obviously go hard at eric and target how many times has he not gonna hate really take off this guy he has kept him on the field of play as long as he wants him to be right so he hasn't gonna hate to really let him go he has kept him here for some long time and nothing has gonna hate to obviously fail this guy but let's all admit he had a very bad game he had a very bad game you know why would you keep him on the field of play even rashford had a bad game you know and I thought that would have gone ahead to take him off if I told you had an Anthony on the field of play. But <clears throat> United is having really problems when it comes to what we call the the midfield and the forwards. You know, Rashford is not giving. Uh, uh, Anthony is like raising, and yesterday he never showed up. Rumors have they said that he was not injured, but he's really having issues with Ten Hag. So. The disciplinary issue of the club of Man United are really huge and the manager is trying to impact high standards at Man United and people are like he should be sacked. Now, I went ahead and put up a video yesterday and people were like he should be sacked. Now, you think we should see a sixth manager get sacked and these players don't got hold on to? We need to really revolutionize this club of Man United. The mindset of these players is dead. We need to really move on and build on Ganacho, Rasmus Highland, Kambuala, Kobe Menu, Ahmad Diallo. That should be the new crop of players that we should obviously come in through and really build on. You know, it should be the new backbone or the new spine for the club of Man United. And if at all you know it very well, no team can really thrive when it's really having players of different generation under different managers because they'll try to obviously not they try to compare this manager to the other manager so the best thing for you to do is simple go all out and really put in the shift and when you put in a shift clear out all the dead wood and then the rest will be history for the club of man united and the big thing is that we need to first really rectify the top then go to the players and then i tell you what the last person to obviously take out of this team is supposed to be the manager amidst all the wrongs Den Hag is doing i think the first thing to do rectify the top and then find yourself getting in the other players that are really having what we call an elite mentality now Ten Hag said on three occasions we lost the easily in areas where we sh should not lose the ball. We are not always well organized. There were flaws which the opponent took advantage of, especially on the right side. We needed to to do better in this regard. And he's right. He's right. Do you know that all the goals went ahead to concede came in through because of the right side? <clears throat> you understand? We gave our easy goals. We gave our easy goals, and the opponent went ahead. <clears throat> To find himself in a position of really getting chances through the right side but he never went ahead to kill them off i remember on two occasions you know i think dominic solange had one shot that was like um that was like inches all was less than a fraction to get in and i think which other player there is another player who is left footed is it christy went ahead to get a chance and really hit it and it was like decimals off from really getting to the back of the net and all the result was 
the right side was really leaking and why was it leaking ganacho was not sinking into play very very well i tell you it's really hard to come out and really not really blame the manager but even the players are to blame i really find it as a very huge scapegoating when the manager is only attacked and these players are, have gone ahead to obviously be given a clean slate i tell you what <clears throat> No player deserves to get a clean slate in that game of Man United because they went ahead to obviously not die for the club of Man United. And that is really what we need to obviously come up and really take into pure consideration as a team of Man United. So for me, I think Ten Hag was right. I wanted to give you reasons. We conceded goals. And by the way, if it wasn't him taking off Ganacho, would have gone ahead to concede. In the first half, when Ganacho was on from the right side, Manchester United would have gone ahead to concede like five. I tell you, five goals. Can you imagine? There is even that shot that was topped by um, by the man himself, uh, Andrew Nana. You understand? <clears throat> so leaving that at that, let's go to this youngster. I was going to hit to clock 17 years today. That is sheer lacy. And he was going to hit to sign his professional contract with Manchester United, having turned 17 today. Viewed as one of the brightest prospects in the country, host of host host of top Premier League clubs interested by the England International only sees a future <clears throat> at Man United. And why does he does this? It's because of Ten Hag. When you look at how Ten Hag has gone ahead to treat the likes of Ganacho, Kobe, Menu, Kambuala, it's really giving. And it only tells you that he's really the right man to obviously offer you a chance to play well into the positions that you really want to be in as a player. So no one really doubts the ability of Eric Ten Hag to improve these players. And Lacey is really a left-footed player and he's really of pure talent. And you never know, very soon he might find himself get into the team of Man United. In the preseason, he might be given a go because of his qualities and how he has gone obviously to obviously put himself in a better position as a player. So it comes out to be really made clear that he has gone ahead to re renew his sorry to sign a professional contract. Remember, before you hit 17, you cannot sign a professional contract. And Man United had already gone ahead to make up their decision on really keeping this lad and really giving him a very good goal into the mix. So good luck to Shea Evan, to Lacey Evan, to sorry, to Shea Lacey, who is really a very good, amazing player. Turning 17 today, and they've gone ahead to tie him onto a long contract for the side of Man United. So, your thoughts on to Eric Ten Hag, Ganacho Clash are welcome in the comment section below. Do you think the reasons Ten Hag is going to hate to give for substituting him off the page are really valid? Yes or no? And tell me your thoughts of Lacey, Shia Lacey, who is going to hate to be given a new contract by the side of Man United. First professional contract, talented, and he's really doing good and great. May the living to God bless you abundantly. Rokhan David remains my name. I'm out.